right, we are at the Benz in Birmingham, Alabama. I have not been to the Benz in about two years. I have got Dalton back there. Are you ready to go find some stuff? Hi, people. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go into the bins and see what we can find. We are here at opening. We're about a minute early. We're gonna go wait in line. All right, so the bins are really exciting if you've never been to the bins because you never know what you're going to find. This line was not really horrible, which I like. There were probably only about eight to ten people, which wasn't too bad. Now, as soon as we walked in, I saw like the DVDs and media. This IQ caught my eye and I did try to look it up, but it didn't have a barcode. And a lot of times, Things with barcodes are sold by the company exclusively, and that can lead to a Vero, which can get you in trouble on eBay. So I ended up deciding to leave that one there because I didn't want to take a chance at a Vero. Now, they have the books at the beginning. This was a really, really nice brand new baby book. And I don't know if I'm going to resell it, but I might gift it to somebody. But it was definitely really nice, and the prices at the bins are amazing. So I'm kind of working my way from the front to the back. I don't have any methodology here. I've never been to this bins before. But I was looking through the shoes. I saw these kids' keens. Those are not overly good but they are about twenty dollars so i probably had to pay a dollar dollar fifty for them and to turn that into 20 i'm perfectly okay with that and my main reason for going to the bins and all of these thrift stores is that i want to pay for my trip to alabama and i'm going to try and get as much profit as i can while i am in birmingham so kind of just stepping back and assessing these shoes here and I will dig sometimes, it really depends on my mood and if I see something underneath that catches my eye. Now, I did find a couple of pairs that were good. Well, they weren't pairs, I found singles and I was like, man, if I could find the other one. But look at these, these are Doc Martens steel toe. They comp for about 75 to $100. They were size 13 not very bad condition and those were the first great pickup of the day and you're going to see there were definitely some more now again just trying to look and see if i see any brands that i recognize or any that look of high quality here and i'm not a big shoe seller but i did see these uggs again a kid size but for a dollar fifty end of 15 or 20 i am perfectly okay with over 10 times my money and this these sanitas would have been good but the bottom was all discolored they were kind of cracked so i did decide to put those back and if you guys know me i don't like to clean anything and there was another one of a single shoe now i look over and dalton is stepping on the cart so that he can see into the toy bin and we were just looking to see if we saw anything in there i am not overly into toys but i was just seeing if anything caught my eye and dalton is obsessed with school buses so i saw this school bus and it was missing a wheel but dalton did not care he told me he wanted the school bus so i went back and decided to get the three-wheeled school bus and give it to him it's not going to be much by weight and that made him a happy camper so definitely got that for him now here, this bin is mostly bags, but there are a few hats. And I feel like they added some in because I did end up finding a Callaway golf hat in this bin later. And there's a lot of coverage that is not recorded. And I cut a lot of coverage out. We were there about two hours, but you're only seeing about 15 minutes of that. So if you're going to the bins, definitely prepare for some time. And they brought two new bins out while we were there they didn't do like a full switch so according to the employees there they do a switch three times a day now that is a mizuno backpack the reason i know that is my daughter played travel volleyball and that was the brand of backpack that we were required to get for them and i know they run about fifty dollars that one probably will sell for about 20 to 25 
and again by weight maybe three dollars in and then i saw this bagolini bagolini is a great brand again bread and butter 15 20 bucks but i'm okay with that now that living share reminded me of mickey but i did not look it up and it had some staining on it that is why i chose to leave that one there and then alabama sweatshirt hoodie again only a couple dollars when you're paying by weight at the bins i believe this one is 150 or so i ended up spending about 60 dollars in total here and dalton brought the alabama sweatshirt to me he was putting stuff into the cart for me now i don't know whether i should have got that air jordan sweatshirt it was a kid's one and i did decide to leave that there now over here again more clothes this is another bread and butter this is a nike like built-in bra workout shirt by weight less than a dollar i'm sure again 12 15 dollars but perfectly okay with that from a dollar so i did pick that one up and i didn't pick up the american eagle jeans i didn't get very many jeans on this trip i just was not in a jeans mood now here this shirt is really cool it is i believe southern bell so that is i think like simply southern and it says keep the christ in christmas there were no stains on that and i feel like that one will go for 15 possibly up to 25 and i also saw this red hot chili peppers dream of californication it is a reproduction it's not vintage but for a dollar into 15 or 20 i'm good with that and then here again if you guys know me i love destination shirts this one is from the great smoky mountains checked it no stains definitely decided to get that one and again some bins i will dig and dig and some i'm just not feeling it so you'll see here i kind of move from bin to bin but the big thing is when they bring out the new bins i think that's when you kind of have a little more of a shot at finding good stuff if you're the first one in so my friend charlene called me over because they were just rolling this bin out and you will see this is the only bin that day besides the next one that had a bunch of people at it and that's because they just rolled this out so this little chico shirt with like giraffes and stuff probably 15 to 20 dollar pickup and then i could not believe what i am getting ready to pull out here I was just like whoa and yeah so look at this amazing condition a women's north face jacket it is lined it is absolutely amazing and since i found that i'm like okay i gotta keep digging but then they rolled out another new bin and since there were people on the other half of that one i'm like okay we're gonna go to this bin so these were the two new bins that came out for the day now you'll notice there are guys on the other end i have no clue what they were looking for they were going through it so incredibly fast and then they moved on but you will see here in a second i'm, I'm gonna assume they were resellers but they passed up quite a bit of profit when they were digging and just tossed it to the side so i ended up waiting for them to finish digging through and finding or not finding whatever they were looking for and then i came over so as soon as they walked away i came in here and i try and give people their space at the bins but if it's a new bin i'm okay with having a few people at the bin and here though after they dug through it was just me in this new bin now these shirts are combat shirts the brand is massive there are multiple different sizes and these are like the desert storm camo so what i did is i got my phone out because nobody else was digging here and when i put in mastiff mountain i saw there were two listed and then as far as sold there were 44 sold so i'm like oh hey i need that and you can see me grabbing them and i'm grabbing pretty fast because i don't want somebody else to come over and grab them as well but in the mix here there were also some army issued tops those i put to the side because the mastiff brand is what was selling and you can see the mesh on the side so i could kind of tell which ones were mastiff and those i picked up now i did pick up one army issue one and you'll see it here in a second and that is because it was still new with the tags so 
I am digging through here. My main thing is looking for those army combat shirts because I know that they are in here. And a lot of times, that's why I was hoping with the North Face, if you find one good item, you will find another one in that same area as well. Not always, but sometimes. Now, here is the Army shirt that was Army issued, but it was brand new with tags. So in that case, I decided to get it. I did leave the ones that weren't new behind because I didn't feel like they would have the resale value. And I'm probably a dollar, dollar fifty into each of these shirts and they should sell for about 20 to 25 dollars so again went over to the other side there are more of this massive shirt and i am just looking for every single one that i can find and then over here these boxers were brand new they were some alabama crimson tide probably 50 cents by weight and those should go for about 15 dollars and you can see charlene my friend is right there on the left side. She was digging with me and helping me try to find stuff as well. So we kind of had two of us. Now, this is a University of North Alabama shirt. I did pick that up. I am all about the college shirts, sports teams, anything like that. I find they sell really well, even if they're only bread and butter. And when I say bread and butter, I'm thinking items that are like $20 or less. Now, when they're a little more specific like that uh, 5K run, those I tend to leave unless they're ones that are well known. And then I saw this Front Street Brewery, Davenport, Iowa, a bigger size. And it said the beer makes you hoppy. And that one was just too cute to leave behind. So another destination shirt. And I do very well with those. Now here, I'm not that into dresses, but this pattern was so bright and loud, I decided to get this. Now, this is where the footage ends from the bins. I might show you guys like a haul later on, but for now, we're gonna go to another thrift store. Get going. I, I know you're wet, cause you splash. That's what happens when you splash. You shouldn't splash if you don't wanna get wet, dude. Come on. So this thrift store we went to the day before, I might end up showing you guys footage down the road. This was really, really cute. It was a like don't smoke cross stitch vintage in the wood frame. I believe it was $1.99. So I definitely picked that one up. This thrift store was Vapor and they had the Starbucks mug, which was $1.99. As you see, it sells for 20 bucks. So again, 10 times my money. And this Starbucks mug might have been a bad pickup. I wasn't comping though, but for only $1.99, I was okay with it. But the gold one definitely wasn't as good as the other. And then I found this cute little Gatlinburg cup with the twirly straw. And Dalton decided he was going to take that one. That one probably would sell for about $10 though. All right, we are at Love Lady Thrift Store. Miss Kathy, who we ran into at the last thrift store here in Alabama, told us to come here. She said blue tags are 99 cents, so we're excited. We're gonna go in and see if we can find anything. Let's go. Come on. You like their Easter display? Yeah. Leave that big old egg alone. Come on, let's go look. All right, so we are now at the third store. And as you can see, or maybe guess, I did not record everything. Now, these are Leo Ward Bluebird of Happiness. It was two for five, so only $2.50 each. These typically will sell for about $12 to $15 each, and they sell pretty fast. I saw this basket, and I really liked it but I wasn't familiar with the pattern. I did try to find it with Google Lens and I was unable to. And just with how we were traveling, we had tons of stuff. Unless I was sure about a breakable, I didn't want to pick it up. So I did decide to leave that one there. And Dalton is running at me with the cart. He insists upon driving. Now, here i'm pretty methodical at these thrift stores going up and down each row just to make sure i don't miss anything i really like this pottery piece but at three dollars it wasn't a name i knew and again 
I was trying to stay away from breakables because we were limited on space and unless it was valuable, I was not going to try and fit it into the truck. Now here, and we went to another one as well, we got 99 cents tags. Again, not a ton of video coverage. I probably will show you guys one more day. This bowl was $8 and it had a lot of staining kind of in the actual color and it only comps at about 15. Now this dish I absolutely loved, but $15 was just a little bit too high. And I want to tell you guys, when you get in these thrift stores that are, have the higher prices, you have to find the stuff that they have underpriced. And that might take a little bit of digging. I love this plate, but it was not marked. And again, that one just decided to leave it behind. Now we are in the linens. Now this says $6.98, but it was a yellow tag, which means it was only 99 cents. It was a tablecloth, some placemats and napkins. So the complete set for 99 cents definitely picked that one up. And here I am looking at everything, but I'm really concentrating on those yellow tags, which means they're discounted down to 99 cents because a dollar by cost. And you hear me say all the time, I got this for a dollar. This is why I really will focus on stuff if it's only a dollar. Now, this was really cute. Another yellow tag, guys. So 99 cents. It is a little apron. And I think it'll sell for about 12 to 15. When you're getting stuff for a dollar, though, turning it into 12 or 15 is an absolutely great profit. Now, those placemats were cute, but I didn't want to pay four dollars for them just because I'm trying to find lower cost stuff where I get more, more for my money. Now here is another yellow tag apron, really, really cute pattern and 99 cents. I will definitely take it. I've not sold very many aprons, so I'm pretty new to aprons and we're just going to try them and see where it goes for a dollar. Not a bad buy. Now, these were not on the sale, but I absolutely love them. They are placemats. I believe I paid $3 for them, but they are so, so pretty with the red scrolls. I don't know what Dalton was telling me. I do not remember. Now, here, I want to tell you guys, if you can find stuff for yourself at the thrift stores or your family, definitely get it. This is some sheets for Dalton's bed. He has a little toddler bed and normally they're expensive, but here I got a four piece set for $7 and 98 cents. So definitely cannot beat that. And if you can save money for yourself while you're out thrifting, I'm sure most of you do it already, but give yourself permission to buy stuff for yourself, whether it is linens and bedding or shoes or clothes. If you find nice stuff that is the right size for you, pick it up, pick it up, enjoy it. Keep it for yourself. It is okay. I give you permission. Now, linens, look at this sheet set. This sheet set is absolutely amazing. It is, I think, um, Hannah Morel. I can't remember her name, but it has beautiful, beautiful butterflies on it. And it was hard to read the tag, but if you notice, it has a yellow tag, which means this whole set is only 99 cents. And here's a tip. If you can't read the tag on the sheets, a lot of times the pillowcases were washed less and you can find the tag there. And this one, it was readable on that pillowcase. And with the really pretty butterflies, this is just an absolutely amazing set. And for 99 cents, how do you not get this vintage linens sell? It was originally, I think $7, but I got it for 99 cents. Now here we already picked this up, but I didn't record it. I wanted to show you guys this nightgown was $1.98. I cannot remember the brand, but it is a well-known nightgown brand, gorgeous set with the nightgown and the robe for $1.98. And that is all of my footage guys. So what we will do is we will have more videos of thrifting and I probably at some point will do a haul, kind of a condensed haul from all of the thrift stores once I have time to go through and edit. Don't forget on Friday, I will have my three special announcements 
And then on Monday, we will do our regular what's old. Happy Wednesday and thank you for joining me.